Yep, tropical cyclones and nor'easters have caught many a ship off the coast, especially uh, between Florida and the Carolinas. We had to show you that although we were near record heat today, in fact, for a while this afternoon, we're the warmest location in the nation, although temperatures have moderated. Uh, we were even a degree warmer than Miami, but there's some cold air up there. These are current conditions. Look at this northern Minnesota single digits right now, but those fronts have not made it to the southwest Atlantic or the Caribbean where the water is plenty warm enough to support something tropical to develop. So let's talk about the criteria that the National Hurricane Center uh, is looking at here. Now, there's no question this is a developing storm and what I mean by that is it's going to have winds of well over 50 miles per hour. It's large covering a big chunk of the Atlantic. Now don't stress over it unless you have plans to cruise out there east of Bermuda. It's well north of the Caribbean, but this is located where the developing low is about 1200 miles to the east of us and it will head away from us. It will head away from us. So this is just a meteorological discussion. What are the three main criteria that we're looking for? Is it going to become warm core? That is most storm systems north of us and even this time of the year over this part of the Atlantic are being generated because of cold air up about 20 to 30,000 feet. If it's becoming warm core, then that means it's becoming tropical. But the hurricane hunters aren't going to fly it. So we can watch some other criteria. Number two, is it going to be anticyclonic aloft? And all that means is the tropical system, unlike any other on Earth, whereas the winds are like at every other low where they're going in counterclockwise. If it's becoming tropical up at about 30,000 feet, the winds actually start blowing in the opposite direction. It helps it breathe. And if that does happen, then the third criteria sets in, and that is the highest winds, which with most winter systems are normally hundreds of miles away from the low pressure center. With a tropical system, those highest higher winds are near the center and we're beginning to see those higher winds head toward the center. So officially from the National Hurricane Center, they're giving it a coin toss as far as whether or not we're going to call this Owen. I'll give it a higher chance now at about 70 to 80 percent. But again, more of a meteorological discussion and really just support of the oceans that just continue to warm. What about for us? Well, this is looking east right now. There's some moisture out there, but skies are just about clear. Pretty good for sky gazers. Notice not much chance of rain over the next five days. Let's come back home. Let's take a look at the beach. If there's one place where we'll notice the impacts of potentially Owen forming, it's at the beaches where surf may increase later on in the week. I'll do some research for you and let you know if that in fact is going to happen. Notice the warmth just expands through Friday. Then we'll see some gradual moderation of the temperatures from Sunday through Tuesday. From the